I have consulted a lot of legal luminaries and there are only two options for the 27 lawmakers. Ekbele speaks. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The founder of Albino Foundation, Jack Ekbele, has shared insight from legal consultation on the River State crisis, highlighting two options for the 27 lawmakers who decamped to the APC. He stated that the first option is that they could seek legal interpretation of section 109 subsection 1G through a court process and that the second option involves INE conducting a fresh election. He however expressed skepticism about the suggestion that the lawmakers return to the state assembly as APC members deeming it constitutionally wrong. He attributed the president's decision in the resolution to being misled. He emphasized that the current status quo renders any actions carried out by these 27 lawmakers in the assembly illegal. He said in an interview with TVC, I have consulted a lot of legal luminaries and there are only two options for the 27 lawmakers. Firstly, go to court and get a court to interpret section 109 subsection 1G Get a court to interpret that. The other way is for INEC to conduct fresh election. It is laughable to say that they should go back to the state assembly as APC members. It doesn't make any constitutional sense. It doesn't even make political sense. And the president that I know was simply hoodwinked into this kind of decision. As long as the status quo remains the way it is, anything they do in that assembly is illegal. I do not need to be a lawyer to know that. You cannot obtain illegality with illegality. Hmm. You are saying the president was hoodwinked. <laughs> um, you are saying the president was hoodwinked. How now? By who? Wiki. Oh, Fubara. Oh, his fellow APC member suggested it to him. Look, there's nothing you people will tell me from argue this thing from now till next year. In this country, there is no respect for the rule of law. And the executive is always found wanting, you know, uh, what's it called? Overstepping its boundaries. It is always, the executive is always trespassing with their powers. Now, I, 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 I keep saying that the free arm of government they are supposed to run independently. The president, that is the head of the executive, the legislature, that is the senate president, is the head of the legislature, and then the judiciary, the chief justice. These people are supposed, as in, they should have their own powers in their own various department. The executive cannot walk to the CJN and tell him what to do. It should not happen. The executive can be in his office. Maybe if CJN can't go greet her, okay, oh, uh, well done, sir. Oh, you know, you are saying what you are doing. Oh, God bless you, sir. You go end it there. But concerning the office of the CJN, he now go and start sitting down and tell him, hey, you will do it like this. No, Kosheshe, in Sena climbs, it doesn't happen. The same thing with the legislative body. The legislative body now in creating laws, eh, in bringing laws that is going to be guiding this country, should not come out. They should not be told, okay. These laws, it is only the executive that will even say, okay, this laws, okay, 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 okay. This one, they okay. And the executive does not have, as in, should not be superior. It is going to be a suggestion. But what are we seeing today? Hmm? What do we have today? The executive calling the CGA, the CGA and as the chief justice and the senate president and telling them what he wants them to do. The thing we'll be saying is not supposed to happen. In Senate claims, things like this, nah. You do it, you go home. The Chief Justice, you go home. You receive orders from the Executive, you go home. The Senate President, you receive orders from the Executive, you go to the house. Chicken, huh? I hope you didn't consult those that are always at the social media attacking the judiciary when they lost their ill-prepared cases at the tribunal at the Supreme Court. How? Jack Ekpele, you be politician, go and see that. And the thing is, in... In coming out to talk about these things, people call 
you do as in call you doing the wrong thing politics it is only in nigeria that they name politics something very dirty something that is not supposed to be true something that is a lie if you talk to Majango, say you know sabi politics how is it supposed to make make it make sense that you come and you call yourself a smart ass and doing what is wrong and then somebody comes and say eh, politics near let's say for instance now somebody rigged the election and becomes and they say politics near now only like i said not only for this country now this country now here now, now, now go start from it's not even supposed to happen now fashola came out and said Tsunubu is not supposed to even weigh in in the matter and even if it's to weigh in me and even if it's to weigh in somebody came and counted fashion and said no Tsunubu should weigh in into the matter i'm saying look he weighed in or he not weigh in as somebody who if he is truly a good leader and he wants the best for you know the best for what's it called the best for nigeria or yes for nigeria he would do what he would direct them back to the constitution many did they come to him and say oh this is this issue people can scrape to, to this particular part you can you can you cover they are going to do what they are going to come outside and tell you know what waiting section he go ask the senate hey, what's in section if the senate tell you the law the judiciary will interpret that for you go say okay men are going to miss the two of them as you direct both parties back to the constitution but because, like I said, the policies we have in Nigeria is very different. With dirty gun, very dirty politics. That is why what is happening is happening. If it's to have turned Nigeria into a laboratory for experiment, I'm telling you, and let me tell you people that anything that they try, they do hello one to testing the microphone, hello one to, and they are able to actually materialize it. Oti law, before you know it, it becomes a norm in this country. Maybe this country one now. Hypocrites all over. We are you when lawmakers in the House of Assembly, Senate, and even governors are cross carpeting every day and still contesting an election and win. Okay. Too much of everything is bad. We, can, as a loving fellow, should will soon become political lone ranger. Are you they talk like this one? There is no constitution in Nigeria for law against the masses, and that I'm telling you, that is what we have law against the masses because if we have constitution. If and if the president has directed them, oh, everybody go to this particular place, everybody go to this particular constitution, then even if the president is outside the country for maybe a meeting or whatever, and we have similar situation, everybody will not know that oh, the constitution is there, what the constitution say, and even when your what's it called, even when your president will come back, he's going to even know that okay, you will use the you, you consulted the constitution to solve and he's going to know the said and say okay but alas that is not happening at all all right on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for telling me to listen until i come maybe next time enjoy